Hi guys, welcome to this new video for my CSS GUI tutorial series on my channel and this is my very first video of 2018. So today I want to teach you um, about functions in CSS. Basically the repeat function which you can use along with your grids. So the repeat function is very simple and it mainly helps us to avoid repeating ourselves in our code and making things more efficient. So here I have in my code pen um, an, an HTML structure with a div container and some grid items and I'm applying some basic styling to every item to result in this nice green looking um, rectangles and I'm going to show you why the repeat function is actually necessary or useful. So in this case assuming I have a complex layout, a really complex layout in mind and I wanted nine columns. Um, I could write uh, one fr nine times, assuming I wanted nine equally sized columns. So I could write the first one, one fr, the second one, one fr, and you can see the life changes as I'm adding uh, the column templates. So here we have uh, now six columns, seven columns, eight columns, and finally nine columns. So I was able to achieve my goal here, but then it wasn't very efficient, me writing one fr nine times. So I could simply use the repeat function here, type repeat, open and close brackets, like a function if you're used to programming, and then you pass in two parameters. So the first one is the number of times you want to repeat something, and the second parameter is what you actually want to repeat, the piece of code that you want to repeat. So in this case, we want to repeat something nine times, as I just showed you. In this case, it's one FR that we want to repeat. So nine times, we want to repeat this piece of code. And I'm, I'm getting the same result right here, but in a much faster way and much efficient. So it's not only um, restricted to a single value like one FR. For instance, you could also repeat a sequence or a certain pattern. So assuming I wanted to have a grid of nine columns, but different uh, values, like for instance, the first one maybe would be 30 pixels, the second one might be um, 90 pixels, and this would be 60 pixels, and then I want to repeat them all over again, 90, 60, again, 30, um, maybe let's make it 90, and again, 60. So I'm actually repeating these three values three times. You can see the same pattern repeated here. So I could simply remove this and say repeat three times this set of code or this piece of code and I'm getting the same results. So basically that's what the repeat function does for you. Um, there are other ways to use it. You can also use it along with um, grid lines for instance, grid line names if you want to assign uh, similar names to different lines, etc. And we actually covered green line names in one of my previous videos. So I recommend you check it out too and um, you keep practicing with the repeat function to make your code very efficient. So this was just a very quick video for you to grab the concepts around um, the repeat function. And uh, I'll catch you next time probably with uh, the min max function which is also very necessary in web design, especially with CSS Grid. So until then, I'll catch you next time, and uh, please subscribe and like this video. Thanks. Bye.